Publishers Limited. This is our lab where we carry out water analysis. You can share, subscribe, and like our page. Basically, what you do in Upper Street, we are we are water capable. We offer water treatment solutions after your water analysis has been done. And for us to be able to carry the analysis, we will require one one liter of the sample. And with the one liter, when you're doing the sampling, you're supposed to take a clean bottle. And then when doing the sampling, you're supposed to flush your water for several minutes after after sampling and then you bring it to the laboratory. Basically what you carry out, we do what you call pH, total dissolved solids and conductivity using a using a HQD meter. And for the HQD you add a, a sample you for, for, for when you analyze the pH you are supposed to dispense the water in a plastic container. You give the probe in the water sample. After you dip your, your electrodes in water, you adjust the meter. After adjusting the meter, you select the readings. Now you'll be able to get the amount of pH in that water. Then we have another equipment, BR6000 spectrophotometer. This one we use to analyze the cations and anions in water. Basically, it can be able to analyze more than 250 parameters. And for you to use the spectrophotometer, you have to open the lid, check sample cells, and then with the sample cells, you add your sample of your water. After adding the sample, you insert it in the cell compartment, close the lid, and then on the display, this is where you select the the parameters, the, the, you, you select the program that is to be tested. Let's say, for example, we are analyzing on fluoride. We just come to the stored programs, select the number that is programmed. For example, fluoride is 180. You select the number, press OK. And then you add the reagents. For the for fluoride, you use a Spadnitz reagent. And basically, when you are when you analyze in different parameters, you are supposed to use different reagents. Let's say, for example, you are analyzing phosphate or iron. This is the reagents that you use. For iron, you use ferrover. For phosphate, you use phosphadre, and for chlorine, you use fluorine reagent. Hmm. And then, at our lab, we also analyze what we call turbidity, which is the measure of water clarity. And we use what we call a turbidimeter. Now with our turbidimeter, this is how we use the equipment. You open the lid. After you open the lid, you move the sample cell. And then with the sample cell, this is where you add the sample. It holds the sample. You close the sample cell. And then for clarity, because stability is very much sensitive, you're supposed to clean the sample cell using what you call the silicon oil. And then after using the silicon oil, after you clean the, the sample cell, insert it in the cell compartment, close the lid, and then select the button that is that is written red, and then you'll be able to get the values of the stability. Yeah, that's all we have today.